Grace and peace, everybody. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that he is within me. Bless his holy and his righteous name. Believe it or not, last year was a very taxing time for a lot of leaders, including myself. Uh, I was able to stand over a lot of bodies and counsel and mentor so many people that were struggling last year. And when I say taxing, I'm talking about in my soul because a lot of people say, well, you're supposed to be anointed to do what you're doing. It was because of that anointing that I'm able to stand before you today and still give glory to my God because I know that it wasn't me. And because of everything that we endured in 2020, 2021, a lot of people have put a lot of ne negative stereotypes on the church saying that, you know, we have lost our relevance. Uh, we have lost the anointing. God is not doing what he used to do. Uh, we might as well accept uh, church as, uh, as usual, people not showing up because of fear. But I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that in this year, that God is redeeming the time. I, I believe that there is this is a time of rewards and dividends for the body of Christ. Everybody who has been hearing from God, obeying the word, and have gone through their season of endurance, I believe that this year is going to be a year of rewards and dividends. You know, the Holy Spirit spoke to me about 2022 concerning that this was a time of divine light, illumination, and revelation. God is pulling back the covers and he is doing a lot of exposing. And I'm not talking about just for the negative. I'm talking about also those who have been around the mountain, those who have been hidden around the mountain. As the apostle Paul who went to Arabia, he went behind the mountain and he perfected his gift and he perfected his craft. He perfected the revelation of Jesus Christ. And when it was his time to come from around the mountain, you know, he was able to do so many remarkable things in faith. His faith and his foundation in Christ Jesus was shored up. And because of the things that he confronted that the enemy tried to put on him, he was able to stand. Having with all to stand, you stand. I've been hearing that word for a long time. Don't give up. Don't give up your ministry. Don't give up your on your marriage. Don't give up on your career. There is tons of blessings that are going to come forth from heaven this year. God has a plan to bless you. He know the thoughts that he thinks towards you. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. A lot of the negativity that you've been hearing, don't buy into that hype. And this year, yes, there are going to be a continuation of things that are going to happen from last year. Yes, people are going to be passing away at an alarming rate, but we have received a revelation from God concerning our health, our finances, our peace. And ladies and gentlemen, and the church, there is going to be a new wave of God's blessings and peace upon the church where you're going to see people like never before come to certain churches because they stayed uh, on the word of God. They stood on the wall. They, they stayed faithful to the belief and the revelation that God had given them a long time ago. And what was old will now be new. What was old will now be new. People who have been faithful to God, people who are still preaching and teaching and holding on their conviction. I believe that 2022, this is your reward. This is your time where God is coming to visit your house. And if you believe it, receive it. Bless the Lord again, all my soul and all that he is within me. Bless his holy and his righteous name. Listen, thank you guys for supporting our ministry. Thank you for uh, supporting me, loving on me, praying for me, but I need more. I need more of your support as we continue to go out and bless the community and bless the nation. We are not just a church. We are a nation. This is Centrifuge Nation. And I want those of you who God has connected to me to stand up, take your place on the wall with me. Help me join in this endeavor, this mission to go out to the, all the world and preach the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ and the kingdom of God. Not only that, not only do I need your prayers, I need your support financially. You know, we don't beg, we don't uh, ask people uh, go out and say, you know, can you give me this and give me that? No, we 
we, we, we believe God and we trust God that he will put on the right people's heart to be able to give and share in with us, share with us, in with us, gifts, giving and receiving. And we give God all the glory and the praise for that. If you believe that God is going to do something remarkable for you, that this is the year for your reward and your dividend to come to your house, I want you to join me every Wednesday and every Sunday and every opportunity that God gives me to present the gospel, to be with me, stand with me, share our messages, go go and subscribe to our YouTube page. Uh, also, uh, join us on Facebook. Those are two main mediums that you can see us on live stream. And don't forget to support everything we do. It costs everything we do. It takes time and energy and it takes people sacrificing and giving up their family, their time, their energy to do the will of God in the helps ministry. Well, listen, don't be a stranger this year. Come and visit us at 5600 NC 49 Harrisburg, North Carolina. 28075. I look forward to seeing you and worshiping the Lord Jesus together in 2022. Remember, it is the year of divine uh, light. It is the year of illumination and revelation. God bless you.